You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Hello, and welcome back to CNA Heroes. Thank you for viewing. My name is Lisa Sweet. I am the co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. Let's talk about heroes. Heroes put the needs of others first. Regardless of the situation, they don't take the easy road. They take the road that will help others the most, despite how difficult that road might be. They are persistent and they are strong. Thank you to the Evansville Courier and Press for originally printing this story. Tamisha Dilworth, a 29-year-old mother of three, lives in Evansville, Indiana. Working long hours every weekend to support her children, she wasn't sure what to do when her rent increased to $900 a month on her Section 8 apartment. She reached out to different agencies for resources, and that is when she learned about the Habitat for Humanity. Tamisha had dreamed of owning a home for her and her children, but thought it was only that, a dream, until getting into the Habitat for Humanity program. It wouldn't be easy, and it is certainly not a handout. It takes hard work. So she gave up her apartment, and she moved with her children into her father's, Robert Bradley, his one-bedroom apartment. For seven months, she and her children slept on the floor as she worked through the process with Habitat for Humanity and also worked many and long hours on the weekends as a CNA to earn money for the down payment. It wasn't an ideal situation. It was crowded, but they made it work. Bradley said he enjoyed spending the extra time with his daughter and his grandchildren. They alternated on cooking and helping the kids with their homework. Family is at the center of everything for Tamisha. She works as a certified nursing assistant, working long hours on the weekends so she can spend more time with her kids through the week. She doesn't want to miss out on a thing. Tamisha has always dreamed of giving her kids, Aaliyah 12, Trevon 9, and Teresa 1, their own home. But as a young single mother, it's something she wasn't sure she'd be able to provide. Tamisha says, I don't know why, but everybody seems to think that Habitat just gives you a house. It doesn't work like that at all, she said. They don't give you anything. You work for everything. They just give you the opportunity to get into the program, and then you're working yourself. You're working for it every step after that. The application, workshop, and construction process usually takes about a year from start to finish. Selected candidates must be willing to partner with the organization by working at least 300 sweat equity construction hours on their home and other candidates' homes as well. Included in the 300 hours is attending home ownership workshops. Tamisha said, with Habitat, you have to make sure you're keeping up with your stuff. They have classes that you can't miss. I made sure I stayed up on that. It was a lot for me, she said, because I just had my daughter two weeks before I started the Habitat process. During the process, Tamisha had to save roughly $1,000 to get a matching down payment from the Individual Development and Empowerment account, the IDEA program. She put $2,000 towards her home with a 25-year mortgage payment of $400 monthly, which includes homeowner insurance and taxes. Tamisha and her family have been in their home for several months and they're still settling in. It's finally feeling real for her now. Tamisha, you are so deserving of this. You're a true caregiver. 
to the frail and elderly, and to your children. You have worked hard and sacrificed for your dreams. You, Tamisha, believed you could, so you did. Today, everybody, let's recognize the hardworking and determined Tamisha Dilworth, CNA hero.